So I am inserting the liner into the pool, and I'm going to locate the handles on the pool liner. So here's one here, and there are four exterior handles. And I'm going to wrap the pool around, or the liner around the pool as I move around. And then I'm going to begin to inflate the pool. And as the pool gets more and more firm, it will secure the liner's liner around the pool. So there you can see that all four of the handles are, oh, I know, it makes sense to me. Your liner is going to come with, um, it's going to appear that it's not exactly symmetrical. However, the handles on one side of your pool is, are at the top, and the handles on the other side of the pool are more towards the bottom. So the liner itself will fit exactly snug around the pool. So it's the location of the liners, uh, the handles, that's really going to help you locate and situate your liner. All right, so let me go ahead and start topping off the pool. I'm going to go to the top chamber first, because that will definitely hold the, hold the liner in place. this valve. I just kind of let a lot of air out there. Um, there's another way. Let's see here. So the top of the valve also turns off. So once you get down to where you're almost full, so I probably made a mistake just now, I should have backed off and used just the top portion of the valve. The bottom portion is a very large hole and the top portion is a little bit more, um, it's smaller and there's a little flap inside. So it allows you to fine tune your air a little bit better. So we are really close to being totally firm on top, but I'm going to go ahead and continue because I want the pool to be very rigid. And now when I pull, pull the air uh, pump out this time, air doesn't whoosh out because there's a little valve inside there. And that is the little valve that you want to check, um, check into if you do have apparently or what appears to be a slow leak is you can double check that your valve doesn't have um, that little piece of material flapped over. So there you are. You have now inflated the top portion of your pool. And now we're just going to go ahead and firm up this bottom part, and then your pool is ready to be filled. And again, I'm going to leave that bottom portion of the valve tight. And I'm going to just unscrew the top. There we go. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> There's no air leaking, and here is your completed pool. You're going to want to put away your electrical air pump before you bring out your water, uh, but that is how you fill up a pool. Hi, this is Marla Althaus with Waterburst Solutions. I am showing you a completely filled aquaborne pool. We've inflated it and we've left it sit overnight. And I want, wanted to mention to you that oftentimes. Um, the floor may not appear like it's full, however it is, and once you put water in there, it's going to even out and it's going to be very cushy and comfortable. So, in the morning when you get up, your pool should be very firm, roughly as firm as you, it was the night before. Um, you can always top it off if you feel like there was an issue, because sometimes cool air will uh, uh, create a little shrinkage. Um, but in general, this is what an uh, aquaborn completed pool looks like including the lid. The lid just sits right in on top. So if you fill your pool up with hot water and you want to keep the temperature in, you go ahead and use your lid. Mm -hmm. 